Whether it is a break in, a shooting or a fire these days, it's likely that it was caught on camera. When this news breaks, we're scrolling through it on our phones in just minutes. And those social media posts often lead to tips for police. KMAX Tori Lorna had spoke with top city officials about crime rates and if social media might be part of a larger solution. Last year, police say there are more than 3,000 car burglaries and 1,500 home burglaries. They say social media is a good place to start to try and catch those criminals. But officials, along with a couple who runs a popular Facebook page, say this new era comes with more responsibility. When the alarm goes off, the video goes up. Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat next door. Social media is blowing up into a whole new realm for fighting crime. Facebook has that capability of reaching um, more people. So we created a group so that we could reach the whole city. Omar and Kaylee Hernandez created the Facebook page Operation Crime Watch a year ago. That's what we were hoping for is to get a whole bunch of following so that, you know, if something did happen or does happen, that everybody can be aware of what's going on. The page now racking up more than 5,700 followers, but it's not only helping neighbors. Chief Greg Stevens says social media is a key tool for Lubbock police. You guys uploaded on, on your social media site and were able to catch crooks, to catch thieves. District Attorney Sunshine Stanick says these posts are even popping up in court. We use social media in a lot of our cases. That's just, it, it's, it's a great investigative tool. But officials also have to balance the possible consequences that come with it. Things are posted um, that lead people to believe that something's true when it's actually not factual at all. Is it someone that's just engaged in door-to-door in -door sales or, or is it truly someone who's looking for a house to break into. In the past months, Lubbock has had a couple cases of self-defense gone deadly. Comments then taking over the internet. We get backlash, you know, saying, oh, well, you guys should have shot him, should have did this, should have did that. The Hernandezes feel the weight of this responsibility. We filter through all the posts. It's, it's a pretty big responsibility so that we don't allow irrelevant information to come through the page and just flood it or victimize someone. It may seem like crime is going up in Lubbock, or are we just more aware? And don't get me wrong, crime is, is on the rise in, in many aspects. The larger issue is our knowledge of crime has gone up so much, it gives us the perception that crime is so much more rampant. And this maybe small issue becomes a bigger issue because it's, it's gained some attention trending on social media at the time. Steven says things like self-defense cases haven't actually gone up at all over the years. There is danger lurking around many corners, but not all of them. But engagement has. In a world of texting, videos, the all-powerful internet, knowledge is endless. As long as you keep an open mind to all perspectives and all angles of situations, social media can be a really good tool. And how people use it is changing the tide. It's all trial and error. Please say no matter what, if you aren't sure but feel like you need to report something to them, they will always be there.